फरवरी को जो प्रेस क्लब ऑफ इंडिया में एक इवेंट हुआ था एक मीटिंग के दौरान कुछ देशद्रोही नारेबाजी और स्टेटमेंट्स दी गई और मीडिया रिपोर्ट से जब हमें पता चला तो पुलिस ने उसमें एफआईआर दी पुलिस इंक्वायरी के बाद एक एफआईआर हुआ अंडर सेक्शन 124 ए 120 बी एंड 149 उसके बाद हमने केस को इन्वेस्टिगेट किया है और जो भी एविडेंसेस ऑन रिकॉर्ड आए हैं उसके बेसिस पे एसएआर गिलानी को अरेस्ट किया गया लॉ ऑफ द लैंड दैट शुड बी द क्राइटेरिया दैट शुड बी द बेसिस इफ एन इंसिडेंट हैपेंस यू नो द पुलिस कैन नॉट एक्ट इन अ डिसप्रोपोर्शनेट मैनर If the police has any evidence that anyone uh, can be charged under any provisions of law, they can do so. After all, you know, in India, it cannot be done on, on the basis of an incident or its uh, a publicity or uh, its news which is appearing. If there is substantial charges, now we find that you know the not even the union chairman of the college university was arrested. But still, it is doubtful whether he was involved or not. And the police say one version, and uh, there is other version also that uh, he has been uh, questioning the outsiders who came to the university. So, without a clear-cut evidence, the police should not be proceeding uh, against anyone. Um, this Gilani's case, if they have evidence, they can proceed. But the fact remains that all the actions taken in the recent days. On JNU was taken in a hurry without going into the details, without taking substantial evidence on any matter. This is a uh, high-handed action from the side of the police. It seems so. We must allow the police and the investigative agencies to do their job. Anyone who finds is doing something that's objectionable or crosses the parameters of reasonable restrictions of Article 191A, which is freedom of expression and speech. Obviously, that has to be investigated, especially if it is in contravention to any law of the land. So I don't think this is a political matter, as some political parties are forcing it to be, a matter of security of the country and sovereignty has uh, to unite each one of us. It can't be seen only in terms of our preferences and our political preferences.